I will uh, present to you the GitLab Jira integration working. As I mentioned, we have the, the basic and the Jira development panel integration. We will be focusing the second one. That is the one that you have available now that you are a premium user. And uh, what, what, as I said, uh, allows you to see your commit sprints and merge requests in the GitLab and also with links to access uh, this directly in GitLab and smart commits. The demo, it's about to, to uh, create an issue in Jira. So I'm going to the Jira interface. I will create an issue here. Uh, so let's see, test integration. And uh, the important thing here is to have uh, this ID. I'm copying here from my address bar. And I will use this in the GitLab interface. So going to my project is one where I previously have set the integration. I can do a modification. This could be done uh, in my machine, but I use the GitLab UI just to make this simple. And let's say that to implement this new feature, I needed to generate a file called a.rb in this project. And just to follow the good practices, I will use uh, the name of the branch, uh, the, the, the issue ID, sorry, here. Uh, this is not uh, about integration, it's just uh, my organization. So let's call test integration. And here is where you can use smart commits. So it's important to refer the issue ID here. And from the top of my mind, I know that it's possible to comment. Oh, I'm doing something wrong here. And actually, uh, in, the, in this, the last uh, session, I said uh, for the audience that the smart commits are not working. And uh, the people in, responsible for this feature in GitLab are looking for. And we figured out that our documentation was not clear uh, in this uh, point. And we should to have an information there saying that the email recorded for the user here at GitLab needed to be in the Jira side as well. Because maybe you can have someone that has access to GitLab and doesn't have an account in Jira. I don't know, this can happen. And this was not clear in our, in our documentation. So uh, my email associated to the administration account, it's not there. So if I use, uh, if, if I do uh, the use of smart commits here, wouldn't work. So what I will do, I will go to admin area and I will impersonate my user. But this is not uh, about to be an administrator, it's ju uh, just to not be required to log off and log in with my other user. So I'm going here in users and I will get my account. And this email, uh, it's associated uh, with a user in the, in the jar and I can impersonate this user. So from this point on, what I'm doing, actually I'm not doing with uh, administrator anymore, I'm doing with my user. And then I can go again for the project and I will do the same because actually I didn't, uh, I didn't do the, the commit. So let's call this a.rb and doesn't matter the content. But here I will create a new branch. And here is where I should use the ID. And I can use comment, as I said. So I am starting this now. And other thing that is possible, another thing that's possible to do uh, with smart commits is to make transitions. Uh, so if we go here in Jira, uh, you can see that I have just these uh, three uh, transitions possible. And it's uh, when you are doing transitions using smart commits, you are not using like uh, instructions. You are actually passing the name of the stage. So if you pass something that is not available here, won't work. And uh, they, they use the name because uh, Jira allows you to create your own workflow. And so it's important to verify if the, like if you are, if you are working in the project that calls the last state closed, 
and not done and you are using like hashtag close, it won't work. So it's always important to come here and to verify what transitions are available for you. So in this case, I will start to work in this right now and I will use in progress to move this for in progress. And yeah, for now, that is what I, I want to do. I'm also saying that I want to start a merge request because this is market, but I will do the commit first. And then uh, so, some things already happen here. I have a new branch and I have a commit done. So if I go in Jira and I refresh here, let's see. Yeah, didn't update. And this is because the, the Jira will hit the GitLab API in a timer. What I can do is to force this synchronization to happen right now, what I'm doing here. So I'm basically syncing Jira with GitLab. And then once this is complete, hopefully we'll see our commit sprints and the transition happening. Okay, so let's refresh, fingers crossed. Yes, it's done. So it's here in progress. I did the transition and you can see that I have a commit and a branch. The merge request is not here because I didn't complete create the merge request yet, but uh, you can also get here and go directly to your branch. So if you click uh, here, if I'm not wrong, you go to GitLab specifically for the branch that you just created. And the same thing about the commit. So if you go here, you will see your commit in the GitLab. And also from the GitLab side, if you go to, I believe it's in commits. Yeah, but this is in another branch. All right. So here, if you open this, uh, yeah, you can see this is the branch. Yeah, no, I, I think this is just, it will just appear in the merge request screen actually. Uh, let me just get back here. Okay, so now I'm uh, completing the merge request part and uh, I, I will do an other transition when the, the code was merged in master. So let's say SMD, uh, I'm done. I'm moving this issue to, and then here it's important, as I mentioned, to use the proper uh, transition. So yeah, I'm moving this issue to done. And I can just submit a merge request. And this will just uh, be uh, moved once I merge. So I will merge here. And now I can force the sync again. Yeah, it's already closed here. Yeah, so now it's done. And you can see that I have also a merge request that was merged. And you can also see my two comments here. So here, it's the first one that I did when I commit and I move to in progress. And this one, it's uh, the one that I did to, to close, uh, to move the issue for done. 